What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off what happened last, to round off what happened last time, um, well, we had a mass exodus to London and we decided to build up a garrison in Spain just to try and hold Madrid, not necessarily to just to keep the territory secure but just to hold the capital and I think it's going to work fairly well because we actually get a pretty decent garrison spawning every time. So some of the remaining Ottoman units have decided to lay siege to the capital, so let's take them on. Um, in my head, how I envisage this happening is while I jump around and take Scotland and Ireland on the British Isles, I can see if I can try and extract as much cash as possible and then I can expand my army in Spain so I may actually be able to hold the territories rather than completely fall back. So, let's take our troops out. So I'm going to keep my General Mort unit actually here, but just don't let him fire. And let my mortar stay up front. And then let's put... some expat units up front with a weakened militia unit to get ready to engage people that attack the fort. Let's put... Some other militia troops on the flank. Probably keep you near Grenadiers. Actually, no, not, not Grenadiers. Yeah, probably Grenadiers, actually. Then let's deploy these men as a reserve. And I want to put some uh, armed citizenry on the walls because they can at least fire at units that are trying to flank around. Aha, I moved one of my militia units. I understand now. Yeah, so you go back. Yeah, you're the one I did not deploy. And then who's this at the back? One remaining unit of armed citizenry, so you just stay back as well. So what we've got to be careful of is the fact that they do have... The main concern is lots of melee infantry and lots of artillery, so they will make a way... They will make their way into the town, there's nothing I can do to stop that. But it looks like they're going to be very effective in making their breach. Which is good for us, because breaches are much easier to defend. One second guys, I'm going to sneeze. I wouldn't say I was a particularly sneezy person, but it seems like uh, as soon as I get on here... Um, I am. But at the very least, these mortars up front give us an opportunity, opportunity to pick off and weaken some of their cavalry. Some pikemen running in. So those horsemen are routed, but they'll probably come back. Yeah, there they are. And they will immediately, I suspect, run back. So I kept my general here, or my captain at least just to make sure I don't suffer any severe negative morale penalties. So he's done some good damage to the Zimandari horsemen again. Probably not enough to make them rout, but like I said, the objective here isn't to uh, protect my mortars, it's just to tie them up so my men on the walls could pick them off. If I had some light infantry, that'd be great, just to make the uh, shots count. Yep, so there's a boat horseman routed. So I'm going to move these expat infantry so they're not, so they're only half on this section of the wall. So I will lose some because I want them to keep shooting. So unfortunately, I have to lose some expat infantry for the breach. But you've got to do what you've got to do. It does give, give us a good opportunity to damage these cavalry units before they make it into the fort. But one thing to bear in mind is they are going to be charging with a lot of melee troops, janissaries. They've got some water, but it's mostly semi janissaries, bashi bazooks. My 
Thanks, infantry doing a good job against these horsemen. Seeing them off. Anything I may want. My grenadiers down off the wall. More infantry down off the wall. In order to prepare for uh, for what's coming. One thing I do want to do is any leftover units I have, I want to expand this garrison. So two more units would be a good purchase because it maximizes the use of the garrison. See, it looks like they do want to try and be silly around the flank, but I don't think it's going to help. At the very least, this unit up here would be good to keep firing against the Ottomans, just to keep firing their cannons. I suspect by the time they destroy this wall, most of their troops will be... most of their troops will have been destroyed. Oops, time to close fire, it will off and then back on again. Because I want them to take position hopefully to engage with their muskets if they're in range. No, nope, sadly not. Oh, my militia's still engaging. I've got some semi janissaries. They're going to go throw grappling irons onto the wall. So we've got some semi janissaries that want to charge in through the front door. These bashies want to charge in. Okay, everyone needs to... So these guys are always a bit of a wild card to turning fire at well on, because if people are to charge up the walls then they will shoot at them as well, which I don't necessarily want. Bashy bazooks, they don't seem to want to. So, we are going to get into a melee fight here. Get into position. Fire, especially when they're all sat. They're all just sat inside. Sat inside the breach. So the Semat Janissaries are going into the town to where we are foot or our garrison line infantry is. Let's hope our, our guys can hold them off. To be honest, there might even be a position, a, a, a goal, an opportunity for our grenadiers. So the good thing is, is they're charging in, um, but they are also like, hanging around outside. So our guys are going to keep getting opportunities to fire at them. We are winning slightly in this fight. Okay, these men need to fall back. This section of the wall is going to fall. Good, these guys are in a good position. They can also fire into the courtyard if they 
decide to actually engage. Excellent. Because then these guys are also fighting. You go stay in your position. The Semak Janissaries have been pushed back, which is great. So then hopefully these Semak Janissaries will also break. So we are doing well, holding them back. So the infantry have been pushed back once. We may have a second breach. So let's do something like this. The Mandari horsemen are, going to, are advancing. My doubt they're going to advance in order to in order to um, charge. They're probably just going to skirmish. No, 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 no. You fall back. These guys are actually firing now into the command HQ, which isn't necessarily what I want. Lots of routing horsemen. You guys focus your ire forwards. Let's move this expat infantry unit. I don't mind keeping this unit of militia on the wall. Good, the Semet Janissaries have fallen back. So I'm going to take the slight infantry out and put my grenadiers in. Oh, frame rate shenanigans. Oh, okay. It's probably over here. No, I want you guys to get off the wall a bit more. These men are advancing up through this unit of expat infantry. I'm just going to let them do what they want to do. Let's now let my remaining mortar units start firing because I don't really have much infantry up here, up front to worry about. Come on, if I can get these militia to get into a position to fire well from the walls, they will decimate the Israeli really. Ah, my mortars are firing that way. Not anymore, you're not. They've made another breach, and that's grand. Let's bring this... Uh, bring this ex infantry back. Oh, come on, let's speed up time a little bit, because I want... See, these guys are just... They're just serving to get shot at. dead militia there are just from this unit is bugged ah there it is so one guy is stuck back here so they are now useless mm. 
Okay, let's pull. Aha! First catch of the day. General's bodyguard, no less. So I don't want to form square immediately because the AI's got a habit of actually uh, just standing their cavalry here, firing at us. You men may as well get back into uh, line position so you can just fire at the horsemen. men are probably going to run out of ammo fairly soon. He goes out of square. I think I might even triple speed it because they're not pushing anywhere yet. Let's get them to try and engage this unit of horsemen. See if they can do anything. Horseman pushing up on the flank. So they're getting lots of horsemen nearby. Aha! Someone's actually running cavalry in through the gate. Or through the, the door. But they, they're wavering already. Pick a new target. Go for the unit of pikemen. Yep, we made it to our lines, but then swiftly retreated. And I think this is probably going to be a recurring trend. These men are going to pick at that unit of horsemen. Probably not going to win, because so far away. So I may end up just pulling them back completely. Yeah, first impressions, um, the AI is just going to sit here and skirmish with their cavalry rather than actually do anything cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to cut the recording and then bring you guys back. Ooh, no, some guys are... Oh, there you go. And they're gone. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to cut the recording and bring you guys back if something interesting happens. Which, I'm a bit sceptical now, because <laughs> the AI doesn't have any strength, so see you in a second everyone. Well that looks pretty major. Get all my cavalry, infantry into squares. Oh, it looked like all three of them were going to charge in. One unit routed, another unit coming in, but they're already wavering. They're probably going to escape. Oh no, they're going to go back to uh, just sitting here engaging my militia. Nope, some more have charged in. But they've got infantry and squares facing them. So, I don't judge there. Judge it is very likely. Yeah, see they've managed to touch the central square. But let's just quickly get that back. And militia up front are, uh, are under attack from the horsemen. Let's see if I can get some morale benefits at least. Oh no, they're charging in as well. And they're broken, so they've retreated. Okay, set my mortars to plink at the camel nomads. These guys back here aren't doing anything, but they're slowly being worn down from my armed citizenry. These guys have no... Okay, they all move them all over this side because they've got no ammunition. They can't run away. They can't. They, they can't actually do anything. And there's some guy out there with a 
cutting disc or something. He's been doing it all morning. And I can't do anything about that. So what I'm going to do, based on the racket and on the fact that nothing's really happening, is I'm going to cut the recording and bring you guys back in a second. So see you in a second, guys. Radio guys. <laughs> I ended up selling out with some units to go chase down the artillery. And it says Pyrrhic victory, um, but most of our damage was done to garrison units. So that's not too bad for us. <laughs> we lost a, lo a bunch of men, but lots of these are men that don't really exist. They only march on paper. Um, that, and it means that the Ottomans' next attack, all of their units will be under strength. Uh, no, no interception here, buddy. We've always got the option that Morocco may attack from the south, which would be super lame, but our strategy will not have changed. It will be just to uh, bring the British Isles under our control and pump our spare capacity in Madrid to keep them fighting. And I will need to get my school repaired if I can, but I can't. Okay, spend a bunch of money to replenish the armies we've got. Which doesn't really leave us much cash. But we can repair this government building. We can't repair that. They're minus six, which isn't great, so we kind of need them to rebel. That's just the British, so we're not so bothered about that. I don't want to build any happiness buildings. So you exempt them from tax. We only get gain one turn, so you may as well let them keep rebelling. Especially as our army is really strong. And then at the same time, we've got to try and keep making not friends. Well, yeah, making we're well, not making friends, but just stop making enemies. Doesn't hurt, just to try. I don't want to make peace with Britain, because obviously <laughs> that's where we're at. So I need to get ready for these guys to get on the march, and I'm probably going to pull my... No, you need to You need to stay there to keep them... Uh, to keep things safe. You go into Greenwich. You, you also would rather you stay there just to help try keep ports free. Or well, not free, but, you know, not full. Um, no units to be recruited, but I'm going to anticipate they will run around and do some raiding and reorganise before coming back. Russia and Austria are at war. Positive. Unfortunately, it does not impact Prussia. Although Prussia is allied with Austria, so they may go into war against Austria as well. Uh, decline attack. Retreat. So I wanted to stay there for as long as I could, but not actually engage. So yeah, I think I do kind of want Britain to rebel, so I can put down the rebels. Which really helps happiness. Like, really, really helps happiness. Prussians are... They're just going to go raid, because they don't have the strength to actually attack. Same with the Ottomans, and that's that's okay. Oh, if they take well, if they take Gibraltar, they take Gibraltar. And if they take Lisbon, they take Lisbon. I suppose, not ideal, but they've stopped just short of the, the city. Like I said, sorry if you can hear this, jackass outside making a racket. Because we live in a built-up terraced area, so whatever the hell he's doing. Early on a Saturday morning. Um, but anyway. I think our strategy is generally the right one. I don't think I don't know if we could support two garrisons in Lisbon, especially as Lisbon is not defended. It's worth a lot though, so it might be worth trying to do something. So let's build one of those. Okay, there's some British rebels, so we're gonna send First of all, one of these things is going to be built into a happiness building. So they're down to minus three because they've rebelled. Um, I don't want to leave the city undefended. 
because we do have those enemies showing up. So I think... Get some money into you. Let's take... What have you got? One gun, some fairly decent line infantry and some militia. So let's take two guns, some infantry and most of our... All of our cavalry, realistically, because we need to kill them. Let's go take them out. Bearing in mind, they will have fire by rank, but we will not. So that's why I've gone for uh, lots of cavalry, because I need to get offensive and aggressive. Unfortunately, we're only, we're only one turn away from fire by rank, but... Can't... We can't, we can't make it. We don't have the support we need. We don't have the ability to keep Madrid free as much as we would like. So we've got some good infantry, so we can get into a musket battle if we like, although I probably like the battle space to be look more like this. Good. Good group Our cavalry on the flanks. All of our guns go for their demi cannon unit. Show them the deadly accuracy of the Maltese guns. So we got one trailing team. That's about it. going for our infantry, which obviously isn't great. Start to position our cavalry wide. Kill their general. That's always nice. Unfortunately, they still have all of their guns and they have enough men to crew them all, I think. Yeah, they do, sadly. Speed up time and watch a few more salvos go in. My main objective is I may actually get my guns to start to more specifically target infantry. And try to get one of my infant one of my cavalry units in position to go in, strike, take him out. Okay, let's go. Let's send the second light horse. Too late. We're out of range. Yep, so you don't get any hits. So we are going to be in, exposed to those marines for a bit, but I think we can take care of their infantry enough. We can we can disable their cavalry, their um, artillery. We can disable their artillery, then just get out. I'm not concerned about wiping them out. Well, I may as well try and kill the one guy that's left there. Or not. Just get him out of the way. So that's the enemy gunners dealt with. Now they have an inferiority in firepower or firepower elements. Push the guys up, let's switch to... Oh no, not cast shot yet. Fortunately not all of their lines going to hit at the same time. No, 
you guys smash their Swiss line because they're presenting a ideal target. And it looks like they've abandoned directly trying to hit my position. not lose too many cavalry in this scrum but I do want to eviscerate their troops you target that line they're strong on the right so let's pivot this line to bring our to allow our see that positioning is already if you don't if you don't get them out of group and then regroup them, the, the AI will screw them up for you. Let's bring my disaster bear. These men continue to charge them down, because as long as they stay out of range with the pikemen, they're fine. I'm going to be able to canister shot this unit of line infantry. Okay, let's only have one guy chase them down now. Let's bring our other regiment of horse out. They are needed elsewhere, particularly over on this flank. Because obviously these are rebels. You need to kill them as efficiently and as quickly as possible. Pull these men back. Probably not going to get any caster shots onto those pikes, which is scary. But I'm hoping it's bought me more time. Keep my cavalry moving. That Swiss line's gonna break. So yeah, you chase down that unit of line infantry, you hold position, ready. You guys start round shotting the marines. There you go, just keep killing them. You men charge the militia. You men charge the Swiss line. Okay, kill the line infantry first. Kill the line infantry until it puts you in danger zone for the marines, then go after the rebels, go after the, the militia. So these guys need to be careful of the, the pikes. Keep cutting down those red coats. And these Swiss line are going to rout successfully. Okay, let's keep. I know you're very tired, but let's keep you running.
you take up position ready to respond to these guys opening up. Because that light infantry unit is not going to be around for very long. <laughs> Folks would hunker down into a square formation so if we ever get any cavalry shots into them. If we ever get any artillery shots into them, they'll, they'll be great. Okay, yeah, hit a line infantry. You also switch to round shot, but you can't fire anything yet. Speed up time. So I want to do lots of damage to the infantry before I switch target to the marines. Switch target to the Marines. Actually, no, you can chase down the infantry. These guys chase down the Marines. Actually, no, you chase down the infantry. You guys get ready. Chase down the pikes, and we definitely want to continue. We might not get them all, um, but I think that was the most efficient distribution of targets for my cavalry. Just make sure we get as many of them as we can. That's the name of the game. Good. No, it's just the Marines, and this unit's in a weird mood. So three men, one over here, and two over here. And this is the last guy. Come and get him. The officer, no less. Good. Two sliced and diced, and I hope. No, they're not destroyed, sadly, but I'll take it. These guys are probably enough to beat them. Or are they? Or do I just pull them back? Because I need to spend some money on replenishment. So how has that changed your happiness a bit? No, it hasn't. It hasn't changed it because I've not killed the Garrett, the rebels. Don't worry. Rebellions come and go. So it looks like there's going to be another attack on us by this army. Which, let's... Well, looking at the length of the episode, that's the, now that'll be the time for, uh, <laughs> for the end of the episode. So it looks like next episode we'll have another Defense of Madrid. I don't think they'll get Prussian support, but then again, they are allies. I don't know, they've decided to position and wait for us, or make us sally, which is unfortunate. But these things happen. I suppose I'm going to wait for a turn, see if they attack, or see if then the, does that make the Prussians then attack? I think if I sally, I don't get the garrison troops. No, I do get the garrison troops. Yeah. So the pirates are the British rebels. Uh, Alter it. <laughs> Dead. So I did that just as a test to see if that would make Britain chill out. So if I move you in... You're now happy. Our reinforcements, our earnings is way down because we've lost 
you know, fisheries and ports and workshops and things like that. Not a lot we can do about that. Oh, and we've also lost trade because our capital is under attack. And our men haven't fully replenished, and that's really scary. It's not a very good army. If they assaulted us, we'd hold them off. Okay, I think I'm going to punt out for another end turn. Get another turn's worth of happiness bonuses. Rebuild some of my English territories. Or English buildings, industrial buildings. And I will have to sally out and attack someone, sadly. So which means I suppose I'm, I can't build, rebuild the government building. So this is going to be a bit of a fight. So let's see if how the Prussians get involved. I mean, yeah, they are. Well, they are pushing. We can't. Yeah, we can't really stop them. I think Spain is a lost region. I think I could spend too much time uh, trying to hold it now, especially if they're going to if they're going to lay siege. So we only get 700 a turn, now we get 1,000 a turn, but we can't leave the fort. So like if I took these dudes and left... Oh no, they would stand up to that. What if I gave them some gunners? Yeah, they'd still deal with it. I suppose the entertainment and culture helped. Okay, let's do some cheap repairs to some of our industrial base. It's not a cheap repair. Um, so, what's a good option? Because the Ottomans are allied with Prussia, these guys would find us. Well, they're both laying siege to me. So let's do diplomacy. Prussia, open, region. Oh, I can't give them my capital. I forget about that. Every time. Just try for a... Try a... Uh, punt for a successful defence. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to beat that. Not with garrison troops that don't know fire by rank and they do. Nope. Madrid is lost, so... How can I salvage this? Let's get one of my agents up to Paris. Let's get other, some other agents. Some of them start to go steel tech, while one of them go to the port. And I'll try and hop over and bring them back. I think now my focus has to be on London specifically. I think. So let's take my general. And then let's... Oh yeah, you're, you're a nothing set of troops. Let's go attack Bristol and take the region. But, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.